Hi guys, Epicenter Brian here. Hey, I'm doing a little experiment in the freeze dryer and I wanted to see if you could salvage books that, you know, got wet. That maybe they were in a basement and the basement flooded or something like that. So I've got some books here, some various things, um, and I'm going to soak them and uh, soak them overnight and then put them in the freeze dryer tomorrow and see what happens to them. So let me show you what I picked out. Um, this is a data book from 1986, Programmable Logic and Memory Devices. Um, they call it a TTL data book. Anyway, these were notoriously printed on, on lousy paper, okay, really thin, really crummy paper. And it's because every year when they came out with a new chip, they reprinted these and they put the new parts in there and the updates. So anyway, here it goes into a bucket of water. Okay, that is going to soak overnight. Now, one thing I wanted to do was make sure that I knew what the weight was of everything ahead of time. And so then tomorrow, um, I can weigh them and figure out how much water is in all of these books. Okay, so the next thing up is a Staples notepad, and the total weight is 2.35 pounds for all this stuff. So this one's going in the bucket. Okay, the next item is um, a little manual from some outdated software, but what I was kind of curious about, this has a metal binder, so I wanted to see if this actually rusts overnight and uh, what would happen. This one's kind of thin. So I'm trying to do some different thicknesses as I go. So that'll go in there. Next up is one of my favorite little books. This is called The Pocket Ref. And um, I have multiple copies of this, and it's pretty outdated. But it still has the sum of all human knowledge. You just would not believe all the stuff that's in this little book. So if the internet blew up permanently tomorrow, I have every piece of information I need to <laughs> rebuild the entire world. It's right here in this little book. So I'm making a supreme sacrifice tonight, and I may have to look away when I do this. Okay. Now, the next one is kind of interesting. This is... Um, uh, a guidebook for Kauai, and this is from 1991. Now, that is the year that I was in Kauai when Hurricane Aniki hit. Uh, the interesting thing about this is it's got a little fold-out map here, and then it's got a plastic coating, so I have no idea what's going to happen with this. Again, it's got a metal binder, um, and it's got a lot of pictures, uh, and it's got a lot of description of places that certainly are no longer in business. So here it goes. Now to hold everything down, I've got this uh, plastic tray from our dishwasher down here. And then I filled up some water in this container um, so that it will hold that underwater but not push everything all the way to the bottom. Okay, let the experiment begin. Uh, so. This is what the water looks like. Pretty nasty. Um, and I took the books and I just kind of squished them together with my hands to get some of the water out. And then I stacked them up and I weighed them. So after they've been water soaked, they weighed uh, 5.4 pounds. Uh, so we added uh, 3.05 pounds worth of water. So doing a little bit of calculation, it looks like we have 5.76 cups, about six cups of water in those books right now. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to put those in the freeze dryer and we're going to fire that up and we'll take a look at them tomorrow. All right, well, these are out of the freeze dryer. Um, these were in for about 32 hours and they're not done, uh, but I'm terminating this experiment. Let's, let's take a look at what happened. Okay, first, the, the big data book, um, Many of the pages are, are fine, as you can see, but it's still frozen on the inside. And in fact, you can see there's, there's ice still right here. Uh, let's see, the notepad is kind of interesting. That's what that looks like. Of course, that's fully dry. 
This little book did some strange things, and you'll see that there's some paper dust um, all over the place, and I think it came from this one. This one had some plastic coating on it, so let's look at the back of it. Uh, okay, oh, yeah, on the inside, I think you can see that. Maybe hard to see, but there's there's a lot of flaking going on here. See that? So it looks like that's where that came from, was this plastic coating. Uh, but the book itself is actually, all the pages can be flipped through. So that's kind of interesting. My little pocket reference is, again, just like that TTL data book. Uh, the dry pages are very dry, and it's still frozen in the center. And then this book, I was kind of curious about because of this fold-out map and everything. Um, and of course, pages are okay, and then it's frozen like a block here in the center. So, all right. Well, that was a fun experiment. Um, won't be doing that again, but it was still interesting. For theepicenter.com, I'm Epicenter Brian, signing out.